The meaning of righteousness means ododo. Ododo means truth. You're living in total truth. No shades. The, and the meaning of truth means light. There is no area of shadow or shade. If there's any shadow or shade around your life, Satan is locking up there to finish you. That's the reason why, how do we know a Christian? How does, there are so many people who call themselves Christian that are not. Matthew 7, from 21, Jesus said, not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, so I enter the kingdom of heaven. But everyone who does the will of my father, and what is the will of the father? The truth. He said, many will say to me in that day, I cast out demons in your name. I prophesy in your name. I do miracles in your name. He said, I will tell them, I know you know you workers of iniquity. Why did he not know them? They were working in iniquities. They were not doing the will of God. Forget about people, everybody calling themselves, I'm this, I'm that. Even in the time that Paul lived, a lot of people called themselves Jews. And Paul said they were liars. Even God said they were liars. He called their synagogue, synagogue of Satan. In Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3. Who is a Christian? A Christian is a lighted person. You can't check the life of a Christian and find shade and shadows. You can't find any hidden error. A Christian is, like our brother was telling us the other time, he has surrendered. It's like this. Everybody can see everything. When they say, oh, when you meet that person, you just know everything about him. That's a Christian. When you say, I, when I meet the person, I, I can't fully understand him. That's not, it's not a Christian. The devil is going to hit him below the bed. Rub his nose on the floor and hit him for a lunch. God does not have power to defend a man in unrighteousness. He does it. The righteousness of heaven forbids that he can come and deal. That's the reason why there are lots of people that are crying for deliverance and cannot be delivered. They are crying for deliverance. They cannot be delivered. Why? God wants to reach out. But he said, I don't have a conduit. So much electricity here. I said when they are doing one or two things, that your electricity will blink or can go away for about four hours. So much electricity that can supply the whole of Africa, but there is no connection between here and Africa. So many parts of Africa, there is no light. You think the electricity company here doesn't want to help them there. But there is no connection. If they help them, they'll be able to collect more money. You have left yourself forever from heaven when you walk in truth, when you walk in light. And you resist lies and saints and shadows. There is no way. There we, we, we free live from fire, fire in lies, in shades. It's an exercise in futility. Because the devil is just laughing behind the door. Say, let them finish all their noise over there. I know my friend is my friend. <laughs> That's what the devil is saying. I know my friend is my friend. Let them finish whatever they want to do. In that church, say me the pastor is making a hey, let us stand up fire everywhere. Demons are hiding. Fire, 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 hey, hey, fire. Hey, you up and another. Hey, rubber, rubber, rubber. And I will say, the man that is speaking, that is fire, true, true. Let us go outside. We wait at the door. Let this girl leave this place. That's the reason why the girl steps out of the church after they have finished praying. He just says, just full of doubt from the door. See, just full of doubt. I say, what just happened? What are they doing in the church? Because he has a boyfriend at home. That they are going to club this night. So the demon wears himself on him, on her again as a garment. 
You now begin to call. Hi, hey, my sister, you're not coming to the church. Um, sometimes you see me now. Um, I'm thinking. He was all laughing, joking, happy. Why the church was going on? Because that's an anointing from a man of truth. But as soon as he steps out, there are shades. And the devil comes up again. A righteous man falls down seven times. Rise. They push him. It's like a spring. You know those springs? You can push that spring down. Just hold it with your hand. <laughs> because it's going to come up. It's going to spring up again. That's how the righteous is. He can't. A righteous man can't go down the drain. It can't be submerged. He said, you are, you are too fortified for the devil to have you. He will be trying from outside, just like wind and water, batter a ship, but cannot enter. If there's a little hole and the water starts entering, he will enter with speed because he wants to take that boat or ship down. It's your responsibility to look at every aspect of your life I say, well, yes, God has made me the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. But let us extend this thing to <laughs> every aspect of life. So you extend it to what you watch. There are some things that come up on my news feed that I was am about watching. And my wife will tell me, but this is unrighteous. You cannot watch this. I just buy and pass. <laughs> say, there are so many unrighteous things on Facebook, on YouTube. You don't call for them, but they are in your news feed already. You just finished listening to Apostle Arome. Yeah, with a power move, you power move, move. As it finishes, you are still watching plate. He just goes to <laughs> the next station. And the next station is where he gets just coming. They, they are putting video camera on it, taking bomb bomb like this. I say, let me just check out first. I don't know whether it's a good movie or not a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> as you finish three minutes they are put gleamed on your eyes you are now looking for a boom boom that looks like that that's the way you can't find the will of God you can't because every time you think about the will of God is the boom boom you saw in that movie I was walking six, five, five, six. <laughs> it, from your eyes it enters your mind you now go and sit down there he has a crown he sit down on his throne Waiting for he will now make sure that this man does not have a set to do. Except you begin to get worse by the truth. The truth begins to wash you. That is not we do not we do not know men after the flesh anymore. We know them after the spirit of a living God. It's not after the flesh, but after the spirit of a living God. And God began to change 